Do you have some songs that makes you cry? I do. It's the number seven of this CD, When the Night Comes, Dan Auerbach's first solo CD. The album is called Keep It Hid. I love Black Keys and this is uh, his first solo al album of the singer, so I had to buy it and sometimes I have to cry for it. <laughs> Not today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha and this one is my channel, yes. Hello and welcome, welcome and hello. Today we'll be looking at a new atomizer made by Vape Systems, a Bielorussian uh, uh, modder, which is uh, very well known because it's uh, here since forever. The new atomizer is the Baika L. This one or oh, oh, I mean inside this box. Truth is, this is not the uh, a really new one, it's the second ever made. I think in 2011 they made this atomizer which was called Baika V2. But this is not really a reissue, we can call it a Baika L V2. This time it's really V2. I mean, there are some differences, uh, it's, it's a modern one, it's not a, a, an atomizer from uh, 2011 and uh, I, I t it's 19 millimeters so it's uh, quite different from the others from Vape Systems and uh, okay let's take a look at it so let's go down to the table and then come back to my face and do a couple of toots and a couple of reasonings with the Vape Systems Bica L down to the table. In the Vape Systems uh, Baika L packaging we got two users manual, one in English, one in Italian, a bag of spare o-rings and spare screws and uh, two alternative air pins. The air pins that you have on the Baika L are 1.2, 1.4 and 1.7 millimeters in diameter. Then we got a drip tip and then we got our Baika L, which is an MTL RTA, 3 ml in capacity, 19 mm in diameter, primarily made of stainless steel. So here's how it looks our Baika L. At the bottom we got uh, two, two symbols that I really don't know what they are for, the Baika Vape Systems logo bica and the serial number the pin protrudes enough to use on mechanical systems even if i don't know if there are still some people that use mechanical systems for mtl but by the way that's how it goes here and here you got two holes where the air comes in you can open or close the e-liquid holes just by doing like this you see you rotate this part and the lower parts rotates too it's uh, like magic okay let's put the drip tip on as usual you can just change the air pin just by unscrewing the bottom of your pin you can do it even if you got your coil on if you got e-liquid on you can just do it whenever you want okay and then you put the one you like back on and you just screw it down first with your fingers and then with your screwdriver not the cocktail how to disassemble it very easy just uh, screw the top here on the top there's a new system okay you just pull off this you see we have the same shape that we have here that's why when you turn these it turns on the bottom then you unscrew the glass which by the way is iron and glass and then you take off this this is the inner chamber of your atomizer and as you might understand since it's a 19 millimeters in diameter it's a bit 
smaller than the usual Bica by Vape Systems. It should be around 14 millimeters of inner diameter. And then we got our deck, a classic Bica deck, two post inner hole here and some space for your cotton. Nothing fancy, just uh, like the same old, same old, a little bit smaller since uh, the atomizer is 19 millimeters, so everything is a bit smaller than usual. For this build, we'll use Breakin's Alien Lab Stitched Stapled Alien MTL. These are the details of the coil. If you don't know Breakin's Alien Lab, well, you should really and for the e-liquid we'll use the shirocco by the vaping gentleman club which is my favorite latakia syrian mtl organic tobacco juice so stop chit chat time to rebuild It's very easy as usual on bikers, uh, you don't have to mess around, it's very forgiving. Uh, there's just a little less space uh, for your cotton, but nothing particularly uh, difficult. Right now, let's uh, remount the atomizer and try it. Vape Systems Bica L, we've checked it, tweak it, fiddle it, and now we come back to my face and do a couple of toots and a couple of reasonings. So I'm using it since I think more than two, two weeks, yes, and let me take a tooth. And I would say that is a very smooth one, a very smooth tooth. You got three air pin. Uh, I think it's a uh, it's the correct decision because uh, personally I don't love a 0 0.8 air pin. Neither one millimeters air pins. They are too tight for my taste. In fact, I'm using it with the 1.7. I like airy MTL. Uh, draws but I think that if you like uh, more tighter ones the 1.2 will fit for you because it's quite tight indeed so it doesn't hit at all this atomizer I was quite surprised because I thought that uh, you know since it's 90 millimeters uh, it's more it's a smaller one uh, it should uh, heat up easily but th this is not the case I don't know why I'm not a physician but uh, <laughs> this was this is what I've experienced with this Bica L. The top refill is quite nice. This actually is a, a new feature compared to the la latest uh, uh, Bica, the V10, which had uh, an opening top uh, very similar to this, but doesn't have the like the 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 fit closure that has this one as you as you saw it in the in the closer on the table 
so it's different but it's uh, it's quite okay i think it's an improvement uh, the the e-liquid control is okay it doesn't move that much uh, it, it's very difficult that you accidentally move it even though i would have preferred a, a, a stop you know when you when you turn it and after like a quarter turn you cannot go further this would be super nice but it's okay anyway uh, i'm not complaining about that so uh, 19 millimeters 3 ml yes it's good personally i don't like 2 ml atomizer because 2 ml is, is too small it's like a pod mod uh, Actually, there are uh, many pod mods that are 3 ml and not 2, so it's sometimes smaller than a pod mod and uh, it just is too small for, for just taking and going out because uh, I, I vape a lot, so <laughs> the e-liquid doesn't last too much if, if it's 2 ml. 3 ml is 50% more, so I'm quite okay with that. Uh, 4 is, uh, is the best, 5 even better, but uh, 3 is still okay, considering that it's a 90 millimeters and it's not that tall, so you can put it on, a, I don't know, side by side, uh, the, the smaller one, the ones that uh, don't fit uh, with uh, a 22, don't accommodate a 22, uh, you know there are some of them. I think that APM mods, which is a modder from Italy, does something smaller like that so you have a really really nice and shiny and stylish uh, side by side we have a killer combo with this one eh? <laughs> so it's not turbulent at all uh, it's not dead silent but it's uh, it has a, a minimum of turbulence that doesn't bother me at all so uh, it is very smooth and the compression it's it's quite good it's not too much it's not too it's not too airy to lose and it's not too tight i think it's perfect for this building is not that difficult if if you are accustomed to build uh, uh, atomizer like the bike of weight uh, v9 v10 you know those have large decks so it's super easy and even if you do some mistakes, those one say, "Oh well, that's okay. We will work anyway." Even you did, even if you did some mistakes. This one is more or less the same. Yeah, obviously, it's a little bit uh, tighter than usual uh, bica, but it's not that tighter compared to other atomizer that maybe are uh, uh, 22, because some. Uh, atomizer that has 22 millimeters in diameter do doesn't have just like a big deck and this one is the same it's a little bit thinner but uh, you have plenty of space and you can use a complex coil as i showed you and i wanted to use a 2.5 millimeters coil just for showing you that yes you can use a 2.5 because you know maybe sometimes someone could think uh, oh yeah but it's just for two millimeters coils uh, no it's not uh, you can uh, use it with 2.5 uh, millimeters yes uh, you have to be precise to to put the coil in that center but it works uh, it has a medium heat it's not it's not a uh, uh, very uh, accentuated throat heat it's uh, just in the middle, it's an average one, it's not loose, uh, it's not that you have to, to put uh, less nicotine in it because uh, it's, uh, it has a strong heat, not that case, but uh, it's okay, I feel uh, comfortable with that. Then I've tried it with uh, three, actually four different e-liquids. I've tried with the Havana by Blendfield of the Solo series and this is the one that it doesn't it doesn't shine with that e-liquid because it's uh, it's kind of flat. I don't know why because the Havana has a floral taste and uh, it, it shows but a little not too much. So it was not my favorite yet. 
Then I've tried with the of the solo series from Blenfield, the Virginia, and this is another story because the Virginia is sweet. It has to be sweet, and in this case, I felt it sweet. By the way, is this one? If you want to try it, is this one? And we have herbal notes that are accentuated here. So I feel I, I thought that. I, I could be disappointed with this Virginia because it has a, a tight deck and so I, I thought that it was uh, very dry but it, it's not the case uh, you have the the sweetness of the Virginia and the herbal notes so I've been impressed of the bike aisle on the Virginia because it's uh, uh, I wasn't expecting that kind of flavor at all so well done bike aisle then I've tried with the West from Vapor Cave, which is an, an uh, unknown aromatized net juice. And this one is uh, like the, the, my favorite of all the four uh, Elix that I've tried because uh, it's super silky. Like, uh, I don't know how to explain, but the first draw I did was like... Uh, yeah, smooth, silky, very well mixed. All the tobaccos are in the right place. And I saw, yeah, this is the one. This is the one that I will use with, with this atomizer because uh, it's just uh, fantastic. I don't remember another Eddy with the same uh, flavor with the West, like this one. I really cannot. And at the end, I've tried the Shiroko by the Vaping Gentleman Club, which is a pure Syrian Latakia net juice. And this one has a, a this is what I was expecting. This is a, a good flavor with this. It's highly recommended with this, but it, I knew it, it would work with this. And I don't know if you know, but uh, the Latakia has a sweet notes too. In this case, they are not fully accentuated. That you need the other kind of atomizer for make it really sweet. But uh, the incense, the leathery uh, flavor of the Latakia is uh, very, very well perceived. So, uh, yeah, kudos to you, dear Baika L, because you made it. I knew it, but anyway, you made it. I have uh, did my research on the interweb and I found the bike aisle on vubar.it uh, at uh, 139 euros. Yeah, it's a high-end atomizer, so you have to break your vape pig. You have to break your vape piggy bank. Uh, this is uh, the notification of my phone. It's a I like it. So it's up to you if you want to buy it buy it but it's 139 it's not a cheap chinese atomizer made by who who knows who <laughs> those guys at vape systems are there since uh, the first 2000 uh, i think uh, i don't know if if they were at the 2009 but should they were at 2010 so it's quite some years uh, they have very well experienced builders and that's it i love it i love vape system products uh, i got a lot of them and i use a lot of them i use all of them actually i think that maybe it's not better than the last one because uh, for my personal taste the Baika Vuten is an exceptional eddy if you want to check the review i did the review of that one on my channel but is uh, like uh, one of my top three atomizer ever but this one is good too and maybe it comes uh, it comes in hand if you want a, a small box with a small eddy and so on and has a very good uh, very good flavor with uh, net juices uh, especially if you if you like uh, the fire cured uh, like latakia but also kentucky stuff like that and i think that even if you use just uh, uh, simply barley it will do the job i'm quite sure about that and that's it doesn't matter if you don't have a cd reader 
because I don't have it. Uh, it's very important that you subscribe to my channel, otherwise I get depressed and I have to go to the psychiatrist uh, because of you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's, it's okay even if you don't uh, subscribe to my channel. And anyway, the very important thing is that you stay away from coffee nails. Ciao! Thank <laughs> you.